Please help me welcome Barb. Masters and honored guests. Usually, when we talk about personal crossroads, that is, events that have changed the direction of our lives, we refer to milestones such as weddings and funerals, graduating from high school, graduating from college, or moving to a new city or a new house. But for me, the events that have had the most impact, that have most changed the direction of my life, in other words, my personal crossroads, have been small, ordinary, even inconsequential. At the time, it's what they seemed. At the time, I didn't even realize that I was at a crossroads. I thought I was just continuing on down the road with a slight veer to the left or to the right. I'll explain with four examples. Sister Daniel glared down at me, her black eyes flashing with fury and frustration when I announced that I, I had come to take the entrance exam to her high school. I hadn't registered in advance for the test, and I hadn't brought the $15 that was required, but I was determined. She didn't know what to do with this little four foot, eight inch, 13 year old girl who seemed so timid and at the same time so immovable. So she rushed around, grudgingly found another exam. I never did pay the $15, but I did score higher on the test than any other girl that year and so was awarded a scholarship to that exclusive school. That one moment, standing up to Sister Daniel, put me on the path to a first-class education and changed my life forever. About five years later, I was sitting in my college dorm room, trying to decide if it was propitious to go to the dance and what to wear. I did decide to go to the dance, and I don't remember what I wore, <coughs> but I remember what he wore. Yellow turtleneck shirt, red v-neck cardigan sweater, a sweet Irish smile, and those blue, blue eyes that captivated me. Eventually, we got around to introducing ourselves, and getting married, of course, and having three children, and divorcing. It was just one small decision to go to a dance or not, and look at all that happened. Now, let's fast forward about eight years. I had returned to college, still trying to get my bachelor's degree, and I was panicking, so I went to the Student Advising Center. I explained to the counselor that I had four quarters left I was a single parent with three small children, and I had to support them on my income alone. I didn't know how I was going to get a job that paid well enough, much less start a career with a bachelor's degree in English. I don't remember the counselor's name, and I certainly can't tell you what color his eyes were, but I remember his advice. I had a friend who took a technical writing course, and he had a job before he finished the class, unquote. Those 21 magic words directed my last four quarters at college and started me down the road of a 30-year career as a technical writer and a technical publications manager. The final incident that I'll share with you today occurred in 1994, shortly after I had bought a technical writing business called The Right Stuff. I was sitting in the far corner of a room about the size of this one when in walked a short, sturdy man 
He held in both hands cloth bags which were overflowing with books and papers. His head was down, his shoulders hunched, and he was plowing forward steadily. The first thought that came to my mind was the little engine that could, or in, else, in other words, determination with a capital D. He had a handsome face, wavy hair, brilliant mind, and he was here to teach us a class on that new thing we've been hearing about, the internet. Robert introduced himself with this gruff, rumbly voice, and six years later we were married. Now I get to look into his lovely, kind eyes every day. And in case you're wondering, his eyes are brown, and he is as determined as I am. In summary then, in looking back at my life, I recognize four moments or milestones which changed the direction of my life. They were small and seemingly unimportant at the time. Standing up to Sister Daniel, going to a dance, talking to a student advisor, and taking a class on the internet.